Today, let me present to you Forever Destined Lover. So for this reading, we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two, and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards, and then when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. I have some big announcement for you guys today. I created a new book of answers. So this one is going to be a book of love answers. Any timing, soulmate, messages, it's going to be very detailed and complete. So now you can get actually my book of answers and also your other love version of it. I'm so excited. Let me know what you think about this one down below in the comments as well. And if you want to get your copy, everything is going to be linked down below. Same thing if you want to support me on my ASMR channel or even get a reading with me. And a yes or no, I do that too. <laughs> everything is linked down below, so check it out. Let's start group number one and see hints about your destined lover. So first one, we have traveling to you. This screams long distance or somebody that you're about to meet when you go somewhere. So it could be when you go on a trip, when you travel, if you plan to be, for example, if you want to go to a new school, a new job, or if you want to travel abroad to maybe study, work, or even just to have fun, then this could be how you meet this person. So I do see some type of connection with traveling or meeting each other unexpectedly when you go somewhere because that could be the message here. So get ready to be surprised in my opinion because this is announcing somebody who is about to travel to you to go find you and so you guys can start building a loving relationship together. So let's see more hints about this person and of course part of your destiny so what i see is a confident independent person with the feathers these could be signs that you see for example you go somewhere you find feathers you know wherever you go try to take a look at the symbolism because each feather do have and possess a symbol that is very personal so maybe you are guided towards a certain message connected to a feather that you see and what I see, especially from the Queen of Swords, is that you guys will be mentally compatible. You think the same, you have the same values, you perceive love the same way. And this is what makes the two of you connect and click. As for this one, we have the Fool. Okay, so this is announcing a new chapter, a new beginning with somebody that is going to that is going to be a perfect match for you. Like I said, your mind is the same, you think the same, you feel the same possibly, and you see the same type of future. What you want to explore with them is out of curiosity. This person is going to appear in your life at divine timing. We have the clock showing up. And actually the rabbit talks about speed. So if you want to manifest this person fast, be curious. Like Alice, you want to see what's out there. You want to see who you can be dating. You want to see what is the option. I mean, what are the options for me? And so you can find somebody that you see as your queen or as your king. Someone who is powerful, like I said, strong-minded, independent. Now, the queen of swords is seen as somebody who could be cold. Like she is a bit more introverted or she is not that social. So this could be what this person is or the type of person he or she is going to be. As for the mountains, I see a conqueror. I want to ascend, I want to level up and I'm going to reach the top with what I do. So I see a hardworking person, intelligent person, someone determined and dedicated to what they believe is right for them. Actually, the feather as a symbol talks about what we think about, what we want to manifest in our lives. And you can see she has provided feathers. So everything that this person wants, this person will accomplish. That is good. And with the Fool's card, this is telling you get ready for this new chapter. Get ready for this destined love because you're guided to follow the rabbit. <laughs> follow the right rabbit, Matrix. You get the point. So you are really directed towards somebody who is going to resonate with you and who is actually meant to be with you. So 
Yeah, follow your intuition, that's very important. Here we have seduction. So seduction might be starting quite quickly or when you guys will meet, you guys will have this instant connection, this instant bond. And so you guys are creating a stronger one while seducing each other because he is holding the book. Again, again that I think refers to what I said. Someone who is intelligent, someone who might be very intellectual too. Now the book to me is a symbol, especially when it comes to seduction, talking about your love story, talking about the things you want to be experiencing, what you're looking for, what things you value actually in you know, a relationship. So this is all that you guys will talk about. And I think this is important for you guys to talk about these things because that creates, you know, a mutual vision. Like, what am I looking for? And do you resonate with that or not? And so with the right person, this destined person, you're going to see you guys' vision clicking. Also, I forgot to talk about this, but the Fool's card talks about someone who is original, someone who is creative, one of a kind. We have Keep Working. I think that connects perfectly with what we saw. Like the Queen of Swords is hardworking. She is determined. So yes, you can see these traits and qualities in your person. Someone who is studying, working, and really putting the effort to then manifest success or to accomplish their dreams and their goals. I'm not saying someone who is going to give up easily. Same for relationships. Even with that game of seduction, I see someone who is putting the work keep working towards building something with you. So that's going to be quite an evidence this person actually likes you. So let's see now who that person is, traits and qualities. So we have somebody who is chill. So chill, you know, someone who is easy to talk to, very comfortable to be around. And we have somebody attractive. Could be attractiveness with the way they look, the way they talk, the way they just um, are as a person. Their personality could be very attractive. Or what they do could be attractive too. For example, and I see that. I see someone who is going to put or pay attention to details. Like put effort into things. Because they notice and they take notes of what you like, what you dislike, what you're searching for and what you do not want. This is why we could see sharing stories. And that also talks about sharing your preferences and what you do not like. So this person is going to be quite attractive because you might resonate with them. You might see yourself in them. But of course, this could be physical attraction and this person being quite gorgeous and attractive. So let's see with this couple deck. And if you guys are interested, this one is linked down below, which is one of the decks I created. So let's see. Good morning and the meeting. Okay, I told you there is a new chapter and you guys following each other. <laughs> and perhaps this talks about you guys following each other on social media. Could be the sign. But there will be a meeting. You guys will meet each other. And soon, because we saw the rabbit as a symbol of speed and with a clock divine timing. You guys can also love to text each other good morning or you will love to wake up to each other and spend a good morning together, an enjoyable time just eating breakfast or cuddling and kissing, you know, but I do see this as a hint telling you if you've been waiting for this person, you will not wait too long before the meeting occurs, before you do manifest this person in your life and you'll be grateful to wake up to them because you can see that's a good morning, that's a good time to be with them. So I see traits, physical traits, what they look like, what you this time lover is like. So we have brown eye, brown, I cannot talk today, geez, brown eyes, let's see, trendy style, let's pick a few more. Perfect. So for the styles, we have trendy style, we have preppy style, brown eyes, only males are appearing on these, are female. <laughs> uh, okay, 
so formal formal style that's about the style okay and then we'll see physical traits with the other cards and make sure to pay attention to the looks on the cards the way they are their face their style things like that because that can talk to you personally also things they can do can appear for example we have music we have studying working um exploring traveling you know all these things reading books could be something they like or cooking because we have the you know the breakfast being ready so fair skin brown eyes and long hair so these could be things connected to your person so let's continue and get more hints more messages so what they want to say to you reveal to you let's see so you should come closer i love when you're soft <laughs> this is so sweet so these are the two messages and then i'm gonna pick the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your person so far with these cards i can see winter season or air sign so you should come closer and i love when you're soft so these were the messages let me continue with the grid so if not the sign of course they can be seasons so zodiac moon sun rising signs and seasons Okay, so we have Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Pisces especially. So let me continue with the charms. We also have letters and words in there. So perhaps we can see initials, a place, hints about your destiny lover. Let's see what comes out for you. Group number one. Okay. So we do have indeed letters, so G, P, Y, world, world, the world card in Tower talks about completion, so this could be the feeling when you meet this person. I heard gap, so maybe reducing the gap between the two of you, and that could talk about the long distance, so distance, gap, here I see teamwork with the tennis, of course they can play tennis. I see a loving person, perhaps from Paris, or Paris could be a place that you guys visit. Could be a Pisces indeed. But this to me talks about going with the flow. So make sure to go with the flow with that relationship. With the lightning, this could be something sudden that you did not expect. So perhaps right now you're playing solo. <laughs> but then in the future, you guys will play together because we have the two of them showing up. Here we have the lotus flower, which actually connects to trust. So trusting each other. And here with the moon could be a um, hint. So the moon connects to intuition. It connects to uh, actually what we feel deep down. So maybe this person is going to be quite deep or they will love to watch the moon with you. As for the corn, I always associate this to money, the gold. <laughs> so you can be attracting someone who is quite abundant. And as for the wing, I can see that as your guides, really, you know, preparing yourself, guiding you like the rabbit was doing. <laughs> like I'm going this way, please follow me, I have something to show you. So that is quite clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer one of your questions. Before I do so, I'm going to pick some stickers. So take your time. You can already think of the question you need to ask. And of course, you can find the book of answers and my new one <laughs> as well down below if you guys are interested. Okay, let's see, let's see. So we have somebody who has their eyes on you and their eyes are just in love with you beach please so maybe going to the beach together someone eating snacks could be something you guys will love to do you know just getting snacks eating talking together i do believe this person comes after a betrayal and you guys can love arts 
arts, could be, you know, fashion, it could be makeup, it could be even cooking, because cooking is an art. <laughs> but yes, all these things you can have the same appreciation for. I see someone who's going to bring you a lot of positivity and happiness. Someone is quite supportive. And I think of you. Look at this. So perhaps you know and they know you. So let's see now with the book of answers. Think of your question. If you need more time, you can post a video, of course. So group number one. And if you guys want a yes or no or to book a wedding with me, everything is going to be linked down below. Let's see. Let's see. Do you feel guided to? Is the question for you guys and that will conclude your reading. So group number two, let's start and see more about your destined lover. So you are my first love, okay? So this is pretty straightforward and possibly clear for some of you. If you had a first crush, a first love, or if not you, this could be that you were this person first love. Or when you guys will be together and starting to bond, even though you had other relationships with people, you might feel this is what I really wanted all along and this relationship is what I see as true love or unconditional love. So you're, you're going to be rediscovering love with this person here and you can see the man holding a bouquet, a flower for... <laughs> actually the, the seller selling flowers i guess that's also some like a good move because this person knows okay that's her interest i'm going to make sure that i give her what she likes okay so for example if you are working as you know I don't know, like a hairdresser, they might actually, I don't know, do something about their hair or your hair or just maybe buy you some accessory for your hair. You see something like this that connects to what you like, your passion or your skills. So I do see that as possibly a hint for some of you, so pay attention to that. They can have a bike because I can see that this could be a hint. We have art, plant, love, flower. So art could be something they love as well. But I do see somebody really showing up, possibly being a bit shy, but also having, having these little attentions that are quite touching. So yes, I do see this from your destined lover. So let's see more about your destiny together and who that person could be. Okay, so ooh, we have a lot of them. So what I see is that one of you could be a bit guarded, like no, no, I'm not ready. And this is because one of you is still having to process pains in an end of a cycle, which was quite torturing. I'm not gonna lie, I see that some of you have been suffering from a very difficult heartbreak or something that was really damaging their self-confidence and now you're attracting the total opposite and you can see even the colors from a very like cold palette to a warm palette of color and this is what i see this person is going to make their move cautiously because they want you to feel comfortable they want you to feel safe to love again and to start trusting somebody again and here you're not attracting a page a knight you're attracting a queen or a king so here of course that's a king <laughs> but what i see is someone who is safe to be with so for this one, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is someone who is quite seductive, playful, creative, expressive, social. They could be, of course, a fire sign and we have water sign and air energy as well. As for the seasons, they connect to winter, spring and summer. So I see the next seasons possibly when... Um, possibly being when you guys will meet each other. But first, this healing cycle needs to occur to find more balance and to welcome with more openness and no longer be, you know, just having these anxieties, fears getting in the way because you're still bleeding from something that happened. And it's okay to still have residual pains or traumas we all deal with these things but being acceptant and understanding of 
you know, where someone is coming from and what they were experiencing is going to be easier for the two of you. So this way you can feel supported and understood instead of being blamed and pushed away because you have a lot of emotional baggage or mental baggage. We all have all these things, so please be acceptant and patient. If this is not your energy, this could be what they're going through. And what they're searching for is someone who is stable enough to be building with them. Someone who is wanting and desiring a passionate relationship. So your destiny lover is someone who is mature. I see someone who has their sh together, you see? <laughs> like somebody who is aware of their power and their skills. And what I see especially with number nine is you're attracting someone who is a perfectionist and they have a perfect vision of what they want. Actually, I see this person receiving with contentment and happiness all they desire. I kind of see these as trophies, you know, like I have been, I've been doing my best and I received the best thanks to it and I'm really grateful. And as for love, they might be very even grateful for the bad things happening because this made them more stable, more mature, and now they have a clear vision, a clear perspective of what works for them, what does not work as well, and what they desire, what really connects to them. And in my opinion, this person is really wanting to find a true compatible lover. And they're not going to be judgy of your past because they know that the past is not defining you. The past is not what, you know, will limit yourself and should not limit yourself. So yeah, and it's beautiful because you can see that actually, if you are this person, you can see that support. I'm here sitting with you and I'm going to wait for you to see me. I'm going to wait for you to remove this blindfold and accept me. And if they are in that position, then you might be this person. Be patient because that's the way to conquer them. That's the way for you guys to actually live this destiny together. So let's see. Couple, I mean, couple cards. <laughs> Oracle cards. Um, security. This is what I think <laughs> you guys need the most. So indeed, you are provided safety, security, care, someone waiting for you, someone being patient with you and singing the same symphony. Perhaps this talks about the two of you having the same background, understanding each other because and understanding each other's wounds because you've been there yourself and you're not going to judge because I mean why would you judge somebody who is still healing when you yourself went through the same thing so you bring that security that safety the scare that is so potent and this allows the two of you to feel supported to feel understood and to feel better so this way you can sing the same symphony of love. So this way we can be building something together without judging or blaming or, you know, being bitter about what's triggered, especially. So they could be a pianist or love music. We have the bike as one activity. They might be close to their family or you guys will love to actually hang out with your family a lot or this will be that sensation. When you meet this person, it's going to feel like home. It's going to feel safe. So let's see traits from your person. You can be attracting someone who's a bit shy. I think that is just a facade because this person is quite open and we saw somebody quite social. So they will be social, but with quality people. People they select as like, you are the right company, you're the right friend or you're the right partner. But I'm not saying someone who has many, many, many people just to, you know, just feel special. They just want quality over quantity. So they're gonna be a bit shy in the beginning, possibly with you. And this is because they actually care a lot. They actually see you as someone who is really what they are looking for. So they possibly put some pressure on them because they don't want to miss their chance. They just want to be building with you long term. And we have romantic. So you guys will be quite romantic to each other so it could be romantic moves and we saw the flowers and here we can see the bouquet 
again <laughs> so yes these little attentions are gonna be quite beautiful and charming and romantic so these are the traits from your person let's see next couple cards and this couple deck if you guys are interested is linked down below so anything about your love life we have venus venus to me connects to their beauty like they're gonna be quite charismatic beautiful and this like when you see them this attraction you have for them is an evidence like <laughs> you don't question it it's like wow this person is special this person is beautiful and you can see she has the rose <laughs> which to me is a symbol you accept their love you accept what they want to provide to you so venus let's see so one more card one more couple card what can we know and for the curtain appearing on the scene it could describe that you guys will be revealed to each other so this person is just behind the curtain waiting for you and then you know they just drop the curtain and then you see oh that's you so i see this as revelation and could be about their feelings could be about their identity if you don't know and look at this again <laughs> their curtain the veil and we have separation so you guys could be separated or like i said you are going through separation to then find this lover so it's rather one message or the other one so maybe not together or you guys will need to say goodbye to somebody in order for you to be presented somebody different somebody new which is you can see a lot more compatible with you and a lot more you know loving romantic caring safe to be around i mean you're attracting perfection so you do want to close that chapter so let's see traits physical traits what they look like anything important and of course pay attention to the looks on the cards because that can be significant even the way they're dressed um their style the vibe you get from them so we have short hair short hair and could be male or female you know it's not because it's a girl on this card that it means it has to be a girl but yes freckles can have freckles if not about them this could be what they like about you as well let's see more so they can have glasses if not glasses they can wear contacts contacts and we have kawaii or asian fashion so freckles i'll show you short hair kawaii <laughs> asian style or fashion and glasses and it could just be for fashion reasons it doesn't have to be they have to wear you know glasses or contacts contacts it's so i don't know it's so difficult to say for some reason freckles i love that we have the same moon here and on her necklace and yes, I do pay attention to these details. <laughs> uh, so I don't know, maybe these could be signs that you see. The moon could be an emoji they send to you. It could be also some, as you can tell, um, some accessory as well. So let's continue and see messages, what they want to say to you. again <laughs> i am shy because i like you and i told you that's for the same reason they like you and they care about you so much that they are actually showing up as being shy it's hard to hold back i want you so much so these are the messages they want to share to you so now we know why they're shy <laughs> why they're shy and just you know kind of act distant so let's continue with the grid so we can see more zodiac signs so far for the cards like i said we have air fire and water signs and they can be seasons if not their zodiacs 
design. Okay, this can be potentially all of them because one is in the middle, but we have Cancer and Gemini. And like I said, could be the season, but uh, <laughs> these two are quite potent, but could be potentially all of them. So let's continue with the charms. And in the charms, we have letters and words. So perhaps you can see a place, initials, something significant for you guys. Group number two. I see this Harry Potter. Harry Potter sign. <laughs> e F. E F N. Uh, and so for the pin and the heart, I see that their heart is going to stick to you. Like they want to pin themselves to you. And as for the other ones, I see someone who is quite positive, successful, fun to be around. We talked about this fiery feeling, fire sign energy. So yes, this could be a Pisces. We have the fish, but the fish can talk about you going the flow, adapting to each other, sticking to each other. And with the feather, um, oh, I thought it was in the script. Sorry. With the feather, I see that this could be them thinking about you or trying to find a way to reach out for you and be with you. As for the butterfly, this is announcing a transformative relationship. Like I said, Harry Potter. The cat could be about protection, so feeling safe. And we saw this with this card. Manifestation, again, transformation. So the two of you transforming in that relationship. We have the Eiffel Tower. So Paris or France could be a trip or where you guys are coming from. With the key, I see this related to your destiny. Opening this gate, opening this door towards love. I see you guys following your intuition, skyrocketing, moving, improving together. Your guides, and we have two of them, two wings from angels. So possibly some divine protection guiding you towards this person. And we, with the first card, started with the bike. And the bike is again showing up here. So make sure to follow your intuition. Step forward. Now the foot can talk about you know, just matching each other's steps. So things that you do, things you value, things you want to be accomplishing, you can follow their steps. You can see yourself in them. So let me continue. So I'm going to pick first the, the um, stickers. I was about to say letters and words. No, the stickers. So I'm going to prepare that so you guys can think of the question while I get everything ready. Let's see, let's see. So, what we have here with the stickers. We have a lot of them, so I'm gonna do my best to be quick. So, I see some passion for art, somebody who is gonna be quite cheerful, someone who is going to prepare things for you, and they can be a bit emotional or sad to be in separation, sad to be single. They might have a car that you like or maybe some spice in the car. I don't know. could be. There's a party possibly you will go to. I think that's the calling for this one. Again, the car. <laughs> I don't know. There's something in the car happening. Somebody beautiful who is going to take care about the way they look. Um, someone who might love to do some gardening, they might love rainy days or rain sounds, self-love juice. So they're working on that and I'm sure you feel the same. You want to, you know, love yourself more, take care about you. I see you guys enjoying snacks together, possibly ramen. Hungry, so maybe talking about these things when you guys are not feeling good or just agreeing on things. Don't worry. As for the thunder... Like, um, to me, this could be the sound that you like again. And we saw rain, like loving this type of sound. But this could be something sudden. Like this relationship being quite sudden. We have wow and the magician. So you might be surprised who of who that person is. We have a pinky promise. So promise of love to be together in this lifetime. They can have a cat or a fish or any type of pet. Or you guys can be adopting together. Here we have somebody surprised. Again, Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys can be big fans of Harry Potter. And we have 
again <laughs> the roses so in my opinion that is pretty clear this person is going to spoil you and love to offer you flowers so now think of your question and before i oh wait i forgot to talk about this one so we have somebody crafty with all these tools pens scissors pencils so yes so think of your question take your time if you want before i jump and pick your answer you can get my new book of answers which is going to be a love edition as you may have heard in the introduction of this video and if you want to get some personal reading personal guidance or yes or no everything is linked down below so group number two let's see the answer and the guidance for you wrong timing so possibly you guys met before but this was wrong timing so now you are redirected Maybe that's why we saw separation so be patient if you had somebody you liked if not then you will never meet at wrong timing so if there is some delay and some waiting this is because you guys are meant to meet at divine time so group number three let's start and see who is your forever destined lover and hints about this destiny? So you should kiss me is the first message and with the illustration. So they are dating, talking, but in the mirror you can see they are kissing. So this is what they actually desire. When you guys will start to date and bond, they will just crave for you. They will just want to start, you know, just be closer to you or make that move, which is a bit more bold. But currently I see some shyness and a little bit of distance <laughs> there. But I think that's because they don't feel comfortable enough or it's too soon to make a move. And they want to respect and take it step by step in that relationship this is what you can see here with the illustration so let me continue okay let me continue with this deck and as for the season as you can tell we have wi uh, not wind we have autumn season with the leaves changing colors so let me continue so this could be for example their favorite season when you guys finally meet each other or this could be um what you like as a symbol for me autumn is about transformation so you possibly want to find somebody you can level up with you can transform with we have so many beautiful cards i mean the empress two of cups and the knight of pentacles so first two of cups romance starting relationships seducing each other going on dates and this is what we started with so you pick this ball for a reason you're ready to date you're ready to hang out with them have fun with them get to know them and play that seductive game so your openness is going to guide you towards this destined love and you guys will just celebrate this connection together number two of course talks about togetherness coming in unity union we have two boats floating around with candles i think they symbolize the two of you the passion the flame within you which is guiding you like a boat towards this person drinking champagne perhaps a time of celebration or when you guys will be together you will love to go for a drink or have a picnic or something quite special we have two lovers at the pool could be what they have in their place maybe they have a pool if not a pool you guys can go to the beach but i see a watery place could be the breather you know you name it but really i see that the two of you will feel comfortable when you are in this cocoony environment or natural places because you can see rather the garden with the pool like i said could be the beach or here we have actually um, um what is the word a field <laughs> a field with trees everywhere so yes this is what we can see natural places where you can just be together and have fun without having eyes on you or it could be a park actually so for the empress the empress is a symbol of beauty so you're attracting in my opinion someone you find really charismatic charming beautiful and
and super attractive. Now, they will love you because you look beautiful yourself. Not just outer beauty, this talks about inner and outer beauty. The Empress is somebody who is nurturing, loving, and she is the mom. So perhaps you are wanting to find someone you can have a family with or if you don't want kids it's all good uh, this can just be the idea of you guys living together building together like i said you want to grow actually together you want to see a future with them so it's not just a destiny with a soulmate that is going to be there for a chapter of your life no this is someone who is meant to stick with you and stay. And you see that as a long-term relationship. And with the Knight of Pentacles, this talks about a big move because that is the right investment of love. You see there is a future with this person. And when you meet somebody, ask yourself, do I perceive myself marrying this person? And if you want to have kids, do I see this man or this woman as a good mother or a good father? Do I feel safe around them? If you don't feel this way, this is not the one I'm talking about. You might be redirected later towards this person if you decide to select the, the other option, of course. But it's pretty clear to me that you are searching for someone you can be building with, you can have fun with, you can really, you know, click and connect on a deeper level with because you want to find beauty in the relationship. You want this fairy tale together and you're getting it because the two of you are determined and willing to take action to start something together, to be with each other. And this is why we can see a move, but still with respect, taking your time. And I, I think it's like, um, you know, because to me, the more the modern age dating is, it's not the best, let's be honest. It's just low effort and it's all about, you know, just more something physical or something that's quite materialistic. And I think you guys will not look for that. You still look for romance. You still want to find someone who is going to move you. You want to find someone who is committed. You want to find your soulmate. And you're a big dreamer. And like I said, you're attracting this love fairy tale for you because you still believe there are people like me who are willing to actually date me and seduce me and conquer me because I don't play uh, this type of game like everybody else is doing. I don't give myself easily and I'm not looking looking for just a wild night with somebody. I want someone who can and will want to be with me forever. So that's why I see the two of you looking in the same direction. You want something positive. You want to commit to each other. You see there is a potential future with them and you don't want to waste your time on accepting players, or accepting people who will never and will not even want to see your depth and see who you truly are so they just see the surface beauty but inner beauty what i don't care about this i just want you in my bed so you're like no thank you i, I don't want to play this game i'm not interested and i just want to date for the purpose of being in a relationship if you don't see me as a girlfriend as a boyfriend then leave because i am not interested so this is gonna be this type of feeling you feel like i want to find the one and if this is not the one you out and <laughs> i don't want to waste my time because you want somebody to dance with you to be with you and to really show you you know i am here to stay i'm here to dance with you every single day and we have the footsteps so you follow each other you follow each other's lead dancing together can you see it's beautiful oh i forgot to talk about this but for the zodiac signs and season so we talked about autumn here we can see summer autumn again and here we have aries so it could be aries season or aries sign and here winter and summer the arrival okay so this person is stepping forward <laughs> you know i'm following your foot footsteps or I'm following my intuition and being guided, possibly driving to your place because we have the chariot. And here we had the, the knight on the horse. It's like, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm going to be there. Just wait for me. So they are arriving, coming in, and they feel your absence. They feel very lonely. They feel... Actually, when they look at other people <laughs> or people that actually want to date them, and if they're players, they're like, what on earth? And this makes them feel so lonely. 
and I'm there with you guys. If you feel this way, dating is no fun. Dating, talking to people repeatedly, presenting yourself and seeing this going nowhere, it's tiring and you deserve love and you are directing yourself towards finding and only accepting someone who is putting the work. If they don't, leave them right away because you know you're wasting time. And they will feel the same. I don't want to waste time anymore. I am tired of just pre being presented clowns. I just want someone who is invested and who is seeing a future with me and who desires actually to build with me. This shows, you know, you're special. So for the traits, we have somebody who is intellectual and fashionable. So their look is going to be quite appealing original, one of a kind, very fashionable. And I'm sure when you guys will talk, you'll be quite impressed about their intelligence. Or some type of skill they master is quite impressive. It's like, wow, this person, I don't know, this person is special. So they can be good with fashion uh, or could be good with, for example, could be writing books or it could be... Um, it could be reading, it could be about their knowledge, about things, it could be business, what else do I say? Again, beauty, fashion with the Empress, it could be makeup too, and it could be things they like about you if not about them. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I can see. They could be go good with cars or mechanics, you know? And again, we have books, so <laughs> that's connected. Let's see a couple cards next. Anything about your love together. And if you guys are interested, you can find this deck down below. Which is one, I mean, one of them that I designed. Okay, we have a past life lovers. I mean, yes, of course. <laughs> of course, because you are attracting someone and the muse. Um, someone who is in your soul family. You've met in other lifetimes. This is what a soulmate is or another label. But for sure, you guys know each other. And when you meet them, it's kind of like finding home again or finding somebody that you left, but at, at the same time, you've never met them. So there is the sense of familiarity. I know you or I feel like I know you. So yes, really getting soulmates, vibes, past life lovers. And we have the muse. And of course, that is in Paris. So perhaps if you plan to be visiting Paris, if not, Paris could be Vegas because, you know, we have, I mean, in Vegas, you have the Eiffel Tower created as well. So, but especially Paris. And Paris could be a symbol, symbol for love, symbol for fashion and we saw fashion. <laughs> so yes, this could be, um, or you can be going there together and traveling there if you want to. If you're from France, then that is an evidence. It's for you. <laughs> but yes, so you can be inspired by them, but they will be inspired by you. And like I said, you're so beautiful and charismatic and they are themselves. So I'm, I'm seeing that as, of course, being so attracted and inspired, perhaps by their looks, by their style, the way they think, their mind active wear so it could be something they love to wear we have all black on this one so it could be also a color they love to wear so let's pick so these will be traits like some style physical traits so active wear we have mask or maybe they have a beard a beard we have black hair i'll show you the other ones so pay attention to the looks the styles even the face, because that can talk to you personally. So active wear, mask, beard, and black hair. So far, we have many of them. So we have short hair, high-pitched voice. I'll show you one by one so you can take your time and see actually the illustrations, colors, style, the vibe. So high-pitched voice and short hair. Could be colored hair as well because we have blue and pink. Baby face and blonde. So you have options. You have options there. I mean, that's a general reading. So of course, of course, you can see options. I might add these cards to personal readings too. I need to think about it because I have these personality cards on the, on the readings that, that you can book with me. 
but I did not add these and I think they can be quite interesting to add if you want to get physical traits. So let's continue. And it's not there because that's a new deck I created, I think a week, a little bit, yeah, a week actually, just a week ago. So let's see messages, what they want to say to you. You appear in my dreams. Okay, so if you dream of somebody, yourself, this could be that you guys meet each other there. So you appear in my dreams. Then we have, you look so gorgeous, I noticed you. They notice you indeed, and I'm sure you might notice them too. Where are you now? I sometimes look at your social media. And if only you knew how much I love you. So these were the messages. Let's continue. So for the signs, we had Aries, air sign, water sign. I'm saying that because I'm going to be using the grid. So we can see the zodiac sign of your person. If not their signs, of course, they could be associated to seasons. So here we have Sagittarius, Capricorn and Aquarius especially. So let's continue with the charms. We have letters and words in them. So you can see initials, place, words. Let's see what comes out for you guys. Oh, we have a lot of letters for this group. It's Samantha, Sam, Smart, Rat. The rat could be, for example, their zodiac, um, Asian zodiac sign. Uh, actually, it's currently, like when I'm recording, it's currently the new year in Asia. I mean, they're celebrating that. We have art, arts, man or masculine energy, mass. Uh, Mars, maybe March as a month, Tr tram, train is what I think about, so train or training, like muscly training, or this could be um, like taking the train, sun, scent, Mister, <laughs> we have many actually. So let's see for the chimes. The chimes. We have the gyrof. To me, this is encouraging the two of you to see from a higher perspective. With the feather, I see that somebody is thinking about you and wanting to plan a future with you. We have angels guiding you towards this transformative, beautiful relationship with someone who is gonna be quite positive and with the sun they bring a lot of positivity in your life they can be successful people too um and i think of the spotlight as well and as for the key the key talks about this openness this new gate new door that you open to be with this person so let's continue i'm going to move these so i will prepare the book of answers the book of answers and as you know <laughs> The love edition of this book is now available, so you can get my book of answers and the love version of it. So before that, I'm going to be picking some stickers so we can see hints. Hints about this love. So we have someone who is going to be quite balanced. They can love to dance as well. We have a drink good it's so possibly going for a drink and we saw this with the two of cups um and with good it's like this good mood we have love good love here we have the envelope and the universe so the universe might try to send you a message show you there is possibly somebody there that is good <laughs> and that you want to discover and get a taste of and as for this you are indeed guided i see a lot of directions go this way one way one way little italy famous fifth avenue east 33 33rd road street i think um and we have some green light cross the road it's time to go it's really this type of sign i'm sticking with you and we have the band hey so expect a healing relationship we have titanic could be a movie that you guys will love to watch together and come here. Or Titanic, for example, you go to 
a cruise or you plan to, I don't know, travel overseas and we have 19, 19, 97. So perhaps that's the year when they're born or something significant to that timing. So let's now see what the book of answers. And if you guys, before I move on, if you guys want to get a yes or no or to book a reading with me, everything is linked down below. So check it out. Let's see, let's see group number three. Do what it takes is the guidance for you. I hope you will like this reading. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Claim this energy down below in the comments. Check my other readings appearing on the screen. Join the family if you're new here. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.